everybody. I'm Sean Hamlin with PremierGuitar.com. We're at the New York Amp Show talking to Arc Amps, or Bill at Arc yeah. Amps, I should say. Yeah. Bill, good to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, too. Yeah. So you've got some crazy-looking, crazy cool amps here. Tell us about what we're going to hear. Um, this here is uh, the Model T, uh, with the nickname the Tark, as you can see the T, U, and the S in there. The name was inspired by the Emerson, Lake, and Palmer album from the early 70s. And even though there's probably hardly any guitar in that album, I thought it was a cool album. And uh, this is the shape was inspired by that tank on the cover. Anyways, this um, this amp is my tribute to a train wreck style amp, um, voiced the way I would do it if I was going to do a train wreck, with a lot less power amp distortion, but still yeah. some in there. And uh, it's just if I was going to have an amp like that, this is how I would want it to sound. So, okay. we don't so what kind of power tubes is that running? Uh, this one has two six V sixes, so right around okay. 20 watts. And then tell us about the knobs on front. Okay, this one here is Presence. This is uh, a power amp. Uh, selector switch, choose between two different amounts of power amp gain. The bass, mid treble, and volume. It's a non-master volume amp. And this is a preamp gain switch. You can choose what balance of preamp to power amp. You can set it for more headroom and just control from here for, you know, volume. And uh, you could have just the preamp boosted or just the power amp or both, depending on what guitars or sound you're going for. It's pr fairly flexible. And we're going to hear this in a second through the 212 cab loaded with... Uh, Eminence Legends, 50 watt, I think they are. It's about all I know about it. <laughs> okay. And we got, we've got Adam over here who's going to show us what this thing sounds like. Well, do you want to show us some of the other settings with the sure, different right. preamp want, position? Sure. Yeah, let's do it with a little more gain. We'll boost the preamp. Cool, and then do you want to tell us briefly just about what sort of amps these other two are? This one, if I had to describe it, um, I would say circuit-wise it's like a cross between a Fender Princeton and a Fender Deluxe. Black, uh, like an old one, Tweed like Deluxe. Just volume, bass, just treble. Volume, bass and treble, yep. And 6V6s as well. Cool. And he's got some amazing woodwork on here. Oh. Are you the, the that's, carpenter too? That's the, the master carp. Uh, Sculptor, artist guy, Matt Schellenberg. Cool. Uh, Kudos. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, he's the one that designed our new, uh, the, all, all the aesthetics to our new bass amp, our first bass amp, the Rhino. And uh, yeah, it's uh, been getting a great response so far and from players and other uh, people. So it's, I'm happy. I was nervous about our first one, how it would come across. And it's the first, as far as I know, I'm a bass player as well. I wanted to maybe be the first guy to have a bass cabinet that's actually resonant and people were so far digging it. I want to hear more wood in the electric bass, especially with fretless, and it seems to be doing well. Okay, so tell us about that one. What about the knobs on there? Uh, far left is presence, master volume, bass, mid, treble, gain. Uh, one switch is a uh, mid boost, one is a bright switch. We'll be eliminating the bright switch, it doesn't need it. This is a prototype, and we're going to be boosting probably the gain for passive basses on it too. Now, was this a tube amp? Yep, uh, 70 watt, two uh, 6550s. Yep, it's all tube. There's a line out as well, so you could go direct in the PA. Works well. Cool. Now we missed one head on the bottom here. This Tell us about this one. This prototype. Um, it was started design in the, the late 90s, and that's actual the real the original chassis in there that we've kind of doctored up a bit. And uh, this was on the road with uh, Trace Atkins band for about about a year. It was all over the country. It's great. It's, it's done really really well. And it's uh, it's it's been a big hit with a lot of people. It's our most versatile single chain lamp. Yeah, it can Very cool. Cleans really well, and uh, it can get into the sort of train wreck territory as well. It's cool. Great with different guitars and different styles. All right. Well, where where can people go to find out more about all these amps? Uh, Arcamps.com. You? Yeah, nice to meet you too. Thanks for coming by. Yeah. I'm Sean Hammond. You're watching PremierGuitar.com.